Mike from Hammer Fitness here, bringing you episode two of chest and triceps. Again, just to reiterate, this is episode two uh, of a series that is just giving you help, advice, and tips on your form for every single workout and every single exercise. So, like we said before, you can pretty much choose and pick the exercises that you want to implement uh, into your workouts, whether it be full body, two day, three day, four day, five day splits, whatever it is. This series will contain four day split so it's going to have chest and tries, back and buys, legs and shoulders throughout of which we're going to I'm going to voice over uh, to give you advice and form on the tips things to look out for and things to remember while you're doing it so not only maximize every single one of those workouts and sets but every single workout as well which is going to maximize your results and that's what we want all right so let's get into the gym Alrighty, a nice simple one to start off with, real easy, machine chest press. Alright, so as easy as it does seem though, a lot of people can screw this up because maybe they think it's easy because it's a machine, uh, but it, same principles apply and please take this one as seriously as you would with a free weight. Uh, you can actually engage your muscles more, isolate the chest, even though it is a compound exercise, a chest press. You can get so much out of a machine just to focus on that strength form and just that mind to muscle connection. So first things first, keep your belly button sucked into your spine so your back's nice and neutral on the pad. And you wanna keep your shoulder blades back. So essentially think, tuck the shoulder blades back and down. What you're doing there is you're protecting your shoulders uh, from any damage, any load that shouldn't be going there because this is a chest exercise. You will be using the delts but this is a chest exercise, so we want to be hitting the chest, and to do that, we need our shoulders behind our chest as we engage, uh, try to lock in, two seconds up, two seconds down. Nice and simple. So, setting up the incline chest press machine. Uh, if you're at Hammer, just go back and watch that again, how we set it up, you can just slide it into place. You essentially want the bars just far enough away that uh, you get the range of the weights coming up and down, but you don't want it too far away that you don't get the full range of the exercise. So when you're laying back, same principle applies. Belly button to spine, keeping your core on nice and tight. Your whole back should be on the bench. And again, shoulders back and down. Get those shoulder blades tucked nice and back. So imagine doing a row with your back, keeping that position on the pad, and then pressing out. Okay, you can lock your elbows out and everything, that's totally fine. If you don't want to, that's fine too. Uh, but what we don't want is you rounding your shoulders forward. All right, so that's going to put too much pressure onto your shoulders, especially when you start fatiguing. So doing it this way, you're actually getting more of a contraction through the chest. Uh, not only pec major, pec minor as well. We're digging in deep, keeping those shoulder blades tucked in. Uh, it's really pushing in again two seconds up two seconds down if you do need the momentum to your side you can increase the pace as long as you're not risking uh, any injury as you speed it up a little bit all right moving on to standing cable decline press this is a really good one because you can chuck your weight into it i mean if you're stronger than you are uh, in terms of body weight then you may have a little bit of a trouble uh, might want to get somebody to jump on your back while you do this no don't do that uh, but look, you can go slower and increase the intensity just by getting that tempo down nice and slow. Just really concentrate on squeezing the pecs as you bring your hands together. So I'm not actually crossing over here. A lot of people cross over. I don't like to. I like to keep both arms nice and symmetrical. I do want a symmetrical chest. I don't want one hand over the other. But again, imagine you're laying down on the bench. You want that belly button sucked into your spine keeping your core on nice and tight, back straight, and just pressing through the lower end of your chest since this is a decline press. All right, moving on to incline cable flies. So now we're aiming to hit the top of the chest, All right, hence incline. For that to happen, we need the cables coming from down low. So as you can see, the cables or the pulleys are down the very bottom, and I'm actually raising my arms up to in line with the top of my chest. So all the engagement is the top of the pec fibers and again guys same principle applies keep that belly button sucked into your spine back nice and straight shoulder blades tucked back so all that tension is just ripping through the top of the pecs or just pecs in general uh, we don't want any shoulder injuries don't worry I've had to learn the hard way and really keeping those shoulder blades tucked back and since I have uh, a lot of the strength and injuries and stuff have improved dramatically. Alright, moving on to flat uh, flies with dumbbells. 
again the same principle applies I don't need to repeat myself all right so what we're aiming for here as you can see my elbows are a little bit bent now what I call this is like a safety net because if you go down and you start to fatigue and your elbows are locked out you can pretty much kiss your shoulders goodbye all right so that's a place where you don't want to be fatiguing or locking out because you're going to twist one way or the other since the dumbbells are so independent um, so what you can do is just slightly bend the elbows. So not only are you gonna be able to have more control through your chest and actually doing that, but if you do fatigue and you can't get it back up, you can actually tuck or bend the elbow so that you can pull the dumbbell close to your torso and then drop them. If your elbow is completely locked out and you fatigue and you can't get it back in, like I said, kiss your shoulders goodbye. So please make sure to keep the elbows. You don't even need it. It's not bending it like a press. As long as there's a tiny little bend. So if, worst case, you do start to fatigue, you can't get it back up. That elbow is unlocked. Uh, repeat again, unlocked. So you can actually tuck that uh, dumbbell straight to your chest and get to a safe position. Hence, safety net. Big squeezes in the chest. Now, moving on to... Just a body weight uh, elevated chest press. Now, I do this with a lot of my clients. Now, if I say 15 reps, what I mean is I want you to aim for 15 reps, but I don't even want you to get to 15 reps. So I want you to somehow fatigue your chest without using weight. Now, obviously, I can do push ups on the floor. My chest is pretty fatigued already from uh, the start of the workout. But what I'm doing here, this is, this is relatively easy, hence the elevated surface. So I think that there's a bigger challenge in actually activating your chest. So causing a mind to muscle connection, trying to fatigue your chest rather than just using weight to fatigue your chest. All right, so instead of just using the muscle, what you're doing is actually feeling the muscle. All right, so your, all your muscles are essentially just contracting in accordance to uh, the load that it needs. All right, so essentially you can be mimicking the contraction just with your mind. Your mind is controlling your muscles essentially. So when you lift a weight up, your mind is thinking, crap, this is heavy, so it needs to contract this much. Now, if you can take a step back and not use the weights and actually get that same contraction or similar without the weight, that is called mind to muscle connection. Now, if you've got that, plus you step it up a weight, you will be unstoppable and there will be so much less risk for injury. I'm talking dramatically, that is called control. Okay, so again, if you uh, haven't done push-ups, just keep your elbows at about a 45 degree, I like to, um, nothing too low, so this isn't a close grip or anything. But yeah, try to take that in, mind to muscle control, uh, or mind to muscle connection, goes for any exercise, any workout, any time. All right, so we're going for an incline dumbbell uh, tricep extension. <clears throat> really fun one. The aim is to keep those elbows in nice and close. You're gonna get more of a contraction through the triceps. Any wider, uh, you're actually working a different head of the triceps, uh, but just have a play around with it. There's no wrong or right way. As long as you're keeping your back nice and straight and your abs on, uh, you should be fine. This is a bit of a vulnerable one for your shoulders, so just see how it feels. Start off light and then go heavy when you're comfortable. Moving on to tricep push down with a V-bar. Now, any attachment you use uh, on any tricep exercise for that matter, flat bar, tricep rope, V-bar, uh, absolutely any at all, it's gonna change the tricep head. All right, so tri meaning three, you're actually working a different head. So just go with the flow, go by feel, see what you wanna work. If you wanna work more of the inner head, do a tricep rope, more of the outer head, flat bar, uh, and this one's just a nice little in-between doing all over. Um, and I just like to mi mix things up. You can even do all three if you really wanted to and just create three sets on each. All right, so again, tempo, two seconds up, two seconds down. Imagine those elbows pinned to your side, and that's where you want to be pivoting. Um, and if you do start fatiguing, you can just yank it down like that. But do make sure that your, um, your core is on nice and tight and you're at no risk for injury. All righty, moving on to close grip chest press so keeping those elbows in nice and close the idea here is actually just turning on the triceps all right so it is going to be working the chest uh, since it is a compound exercise and the front delts but what we're aiming for majority is uh, the triceps all right, so when you get to the top almost act like you're doing like a tricep extension nice big squeeze in the back of the delts <clears throat> 
and then come down nice and slow. Try use the same tempo as we do every other time, two seconds up, two seconds down. Even pause at the top or pause at the bottom, just a bit more contraction and fatigue and see how you go. And if you really need to, you can increase the tempo to help out a little bit with that momentum. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, if you want to use the workout, here it is. Uh, advise taking a screenshot of it so you can use it in your next workout or just pick and choose the exercises that you want and go back and forth uh, to where I demonstrate it and you can implement it into your own workout whether it be a full body two day three day four day even five day split or whatever you choose what you want this is merely advice and tips that you can do what you want with have fun guys I'll see you in the next video